Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and in this tutorial I will show you how to cut off head of skeletal mesh. So basically any animated character that you want to have in your VR game or normal game, I will show you how to cut off his head. Yeah, YouTube's gonna love me for that. So let's not waste your time, behind me you should already see how it will look like and get to work. Alright, let's get to work. First of all, we have to prepare our assets and I'm going to use this uh, skeleton as a skeletal mesh, I know a bit poetic. But important thing is that you need to have separated that part that you want will be cutting off. I am going to use only head, but theoretically you could also use arms and stuff like that. But it will be a bit more difficult. It should be very easy with head because that's not deformed. If you wanted to do it with arms, you would have to separate it for probably at least three parts. So you will have to cut this one separately, this one separately and this one separately. And that's because these will be animated because I have here already animation of dancing. And you can see that they are getting deformed, they are looking a bit different, etc, etc. So it would be a bit more difficult and much more work. For animation I have used just Mixamo, I will leave you a link in the description in case you don't know it, where you can animate your mesh, upload it here, add some animations and then separate those parts that you want to animate. I don't that you want to cut off and for some reason it's not showing anything right now but that doesn't matter so make sure that main part of that character that will be animated is skeletal mesh it's rigged and all this stuff and the part that you will be cutting off will be static mesh right here and you will also need to export it into separate fbx file all right now in unreal engine i'm using vr expansion plugin template if you don't know it somewhere here is a video where i explain how to work with that blah 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 so here i have imported that skeleton dancing which is not dancing right now that's not important and it's head. So let's try to put it in the character. Let's right click, create here new blueprint and it should be a character and let's call it just skeleton underscore bp. Open that and as our mesh we will select of course our new mesh which is just called skeletal. That wasn't very smart to call it like that. Yeah, everything here is called skeletal. If you don't want to go through that like I don't, you just can take it and put it right here. Wonderful. Let's put it down, rotate, etc, etc. And as our animation mode set it to use animation asset and we will use skeletal anim just to test everything. Very proper. And now let's just pause that for a bit because now we will add static mesh. And make sure that it's under that mesh, that's absolutely all right. And call it a head. And as that we will set our head, which is called just static, which would be same problem. So let's just put it here. I should really do something with, those with, with that naming. And right here, before you will start to position it, make sure that it's attached to correct socket. Because if you click on this plus button, yeah, make sure that it's under mesh, as I said before, you need to click here on head. And it should put us already in pretty good position, just the rotation is a bit off. So now let's match it as it should be. If it's hard to do, you can just disable that skeletal asset and have it in T pose, have it T posing because it will be easier to set correct rotation. All right, that looks pretty good. Now if I enable animation again, it should follow it as, it, as if it was part of the mesh. So to do, table and play. Oh looping leave on and play animation and it doesn't look that bad well it looks terrible let's be real here but it still does what we want from it all right so now let's set up the decapitation so what we will want to do on event begin graph let's put here delay to about two seconds and then we will take your head and first of all det detach it from everything so detach from component and we want to keep everything to world. And also what you want is to enable physics and correct collisions. But before that, it's always a good idea to check your collision. So if you click on your static mesh, collisions, simple collisions. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We can use that. Let's leave that like that. And if you do that, we want to set simulate physics to true. And it for some reason created another head that's bit of a useless thing. All right, let's put him in the game and see what it does. Simulate. Well, that worked pretty well. You can see that he was decapitated. So now what we will do is to add our own impulse. Let's say that I want it to go only up. So let's take our head again and add impulse. 
and that impulse will of course change velocity because we don't want it to go sideways as it is now right now and let's try about 200 on the axis that should pop up basically let's see oh it's still going that way for some reason i think that it's colliding too much with uh, our mesh so if you put it higher it should help it's still colliding with something so that is probably there are probably some collisions that I don't want there, so you can probably change collisions here. So collision, auto convex, and right here, just apply it. It will give us something a bit more precise. Let's see it now. Hmm. I think that it's still colliding with uh, that skeletal uh, below it, so let's just test it and put it up. Let's see what it will do now. Yep, look at that. Now it works pretty well. So it was really colliding with uh, those collisions. I, I don't really mind where it uh, when it does that, so I will just leave it here. It can actually look pretty cool. So I will leave it like this, but if you want to fix that, you will probably have to look at both of these collisions and play with that. Now if you look at physics, you can see that we have here quite a huge collision that's colliding with it. All right, guys, just a quick one. I make new VR games every week and I share it on my Instagram. So if you want to see that and be part of that, you can follow it somewhere here. That's about it. I'm going to stop wasting your time. All right, now let's set it that we can actually do something with it in VR. Let's leave playing disabled, but we will add here collision. So add here another sphere collision. Make sure it's under the head and position it somewhere here. I will change the radius of this capsule component because I'm a bit afraid that it will try to collide with it. I don't think it should. It's probably set to block only pawn. That should no. Oh, well, just to be sure, let's leave it let's leave it small like that. You can of course change it however you want. Make sure that collision is flowing it, so switch playing on. Yep, collision is cool. So what you want on component plugin overlap. Now you will want to cast to something that will enable this whole thing. So let's take it all down and what I will do is to use just content here from template project so we have here some sword right here there is a sword so it's called just sword so I will use it and you can of course create your own weapon or duplicate this one and add here whatever you want that's up to you so right here let's just cast to sword connect it as other object and if that happens I want to do that but I want to I want it to happen only once, so make sure that you then delete those collisions. So destroy component. Alright, I think that should work pretty well. So let's try that in VR. Okay, I have that sword, so let's try to decapitate him French style. Alright. Well. Oh look at that. <laughs> that looks pretty good and the guy is still dancing even without his head and bit above the floor but that's a different problem all right that's about it for this tutorial i hope that you learned something if you did leave a like subscribe and all this funny stuff and if you want to get project files for this tutorial they are on my patreon for any tier you would choose so that's about it and of course a huge thank you for everyone who is already on patreon so thank you and that's about that's about it so fancy out